Hi Challenge B, this is uh, Logic Lesson 23 on Decomposition Rules and you probably remember in the last lesson 22 we learned three decomposition rules for conjunction, disjunction, and double negation. Uh, well today you're going to learn um, more decomposition rules for all five logical operators and the negated logical operators. So we'll go over them real quick and then we'll do a few examples. Alright, so uh, if you remember from lesson 22, if you have a conjunction, it decomposes to just P and then Q. Alright, if you have a disjunction, remember a disjunction branches to P and Q. Alright, now this is a new one. This is a conditional and a conditional also branches to not P and Q. The biconditional branches to, actually this one has two layers, it has a P and a not P, and then a Q and a not Q. All right, and whenever we finish decomposing a proposition, we want to check mark. Sometimes I forget to do it, but you want to Try to remember, it'll help you just keep track a little bit better. And double negation, we did that one last time, and that's just P. Okay, now down here, I have the negated logical operators. So the negated conjunction uh, branches into not P and not Q. Now the negated disjunction, well a regular disjunction branches, but a negated disjunction does not branch. It just goes to not P and not Q. Alright, over here a conditional branches, but a negated conditional does not branch. And it uh, decomposes into P and not Q. And then the negated biconditional, it branches just like a regular conditional, but it branches into P and not Q, and over here, not P and not Q. So um, you'll want to try to memorize these as best you can. I write them down on a little card, and I just have it beside me whenever I'm doing these problems so I can refer to it easily. This is just a little index card, but um, I find that handy. These are also written in the appendix. Uh, when you guys were memorizing the appendices uh, last semester over Christmas, um, you, you memorized these. Okay, so we'll work through a few examples and uh, hopefully you'll be on your way. So these are easier than proofs, I think, and I think they're kind of fun. You just have to keep track of uh, the details so you don't get confused. All right, so for this first example, uh, we're going to look at this propositional set here, not P and Q, and then not P or Q. All right, so we start by just writing down each of our uh, propositions, not P and Q, and that's a set member. And then line two is not P or Q, and that is a set member. Um, so these are both uh, negated. This is a negated conjunction and a negated disjunction. Uh, well, the negated conjunction branches. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, and decompose this negated disjunction first. All right, and so the negated disjunction would would decompose into not P, and then line four would be a not Q. And over here on the side, that's from line two, negated disjunction decomposition. And same for here, line two, negated disjunction decomposition. All right, now I'm going to put a check. So we know we're done with that one. And now we just need to deal with line one, which we know is going to branch. So we'll go ahead and branch that down. And we'll put our line five down here. 
Let me lower that a little bit. Okay. Uh, so we have the negated conjunction, and that is going to uh, branch into not P over here and not Q over here. And that was line one, negated conjunction decomposition. Okay, so we're going to look for any um, contradictions, not P, not Q, not P. So no contradictions there. So we put a circle for an open branch. And then not P, not Q, not Q. No contradictions there. So another open branch. Okay, so we see that because we have an open branch that this uh, proposition is consistent. And we can recover truth values. So we have a P and a Q. And our truth values would be uh, not P, though, so that's false. And Q is uh, not Q, so that's false. So our truth values are false and false. All right, let's do another example. And for this one, I want to do an example that has a biconditional in it. Um, okay, this proposition is not if and only if P then Q. And P, or sorry, Q if and only if R, and then not P. All right, so line one is not P if and only if Q, and that is a set member. Line two is the second uh, proposition here, Q if and only if R, and that's a set member. Line three is the not P, and that is a set member. Okay, so uh, both of these are going to branch, so um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, decompose the f uh, line one here. Okay, so let's make our branches. And then the negated by conditional, it's going to decompose in this way. We have a P and not P, not Q and Q. So this would be line four, and this is line five. And that came from line one, negated by conditional decomposition. Same for here, line one, negated by conditional decomposition. So I'm gonna put a check mark, oops, wrong place. I'm gonna put a check mark here to show that we already decomposed line one. Now, do you see any contradictions? Here's a not P and a P, so we can close this branch already. So we would say three contradicts four. And there are no contradictions over here so far, so let's go ahead and decompose line two, which is a biconditional. Um, and that is gonna decompose, we have Q if and only if R, so we're gonna have Q and not Q, and R and not R. And that is line six and seven. Can you see? All right, very good. Uh, so here we have, we're gonna check for contradictions, not P, not P, Q, Q, R. So that's open, no contradictions. Here we have not P, not P, Q, oh, Q and not Q. So that is a contradiction and that's line five and six. So five contradicts six. So we have one open branch and we only need one open branch for it to be consistent. So this proposition is consistent. And if it's consistent, we can recover the truth values. So we have a P, a Q, and an R. And we're gonna look on the open branch. So the P is false, the Q is true, and the R is true. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to get you started. Um, 
The DVDs that come with the book that we're doing, the Intermediate Logic, are very good at explaining this, much better than I am, so you'll want to watch those, and hopefully this gives you a little extra help. Have a great day!